everybody welcome to the wall Doc way i'm jessica and today's video is going to be an ivy kids kits unboxing i have to be honest you guys when i saw this a lot of you had reached out and said i hadn't done an unboxing of one yet and i was a little jealous that i didn't use these in preschool they are so they're just so fun so it's read play learn and create And you can see right here on the top of the box is the Ivy Kids Kits. And this month's Ivy Kids Kit featuring the book The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle, you will find a chameleon fact board, tail patterns, a chameleon puppet, a chameleon head catch and match game, mixed up board game, chameleon lunch game, wooden chameleon, book and bookmark, a chameleon toy, a letter snatch game, roll and cover game, camouflage, story retelling, and mixed up chameleon race. It says Ivy Kids has developed these activities for children ranging from three to eight years old. Your kit includes a guide for each activity to help promote your children's learning while you play. And at Ivy Kids, we know that every child is unique. So in your guide, you will find tips to modify each game based on the age and development of your child. So little Ivy range is three to five and junior Ivy range is five to eight. And that is reflected um, in the guide. This was one of my favorite things. They personalize it with your child's name. We got two different kits and they were both personalized. So it says chameleons are special because they can change color. What makes you special? And then you have everything inside here to complete all of that stuff. So we have the two green, like they look like little cupcake cups, your little toy chameleon. He looks like a little beanie baby. He's cute. The wooden chameleon. A pack of paint. The lizard lunch game. So it's a game. You have these little lizards with long tongues and you're going to try to catch the little bugs. This bag includes a few small lizards, dice, googly eyes, these um, party blowers, washable school glue. This looks like tiny bingo chips to me. They call them foamsies, but they're small bingo chips. And it is 150 of them. And then here is questions to encourage comprehension. So after you've read the book, here are some questions to encourage comprehension. Here is the book, The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle, which this is actually one of our favorite books. It is fun. I love anything by Eric Carle, though. It holds a special place in my heart. And then here in this Ziploc bag is all of the larger game board type of things. So we have a paintbrush and a popsicle stick, some sequins, and then, hang on, I don't want to bend the papers. There we go. So this is part of the camouflage. It's see-through for one of the activities. And then we have the chameleon poster, the fact board. This is for the roll and cover. You can see there's different levels. This one has the numbers with um, words instead of just numbers. And then here we have tally marks. Here you're rolling two dice instead of just one and adding them together. You're rolling two dice and finding the matching math problem. We are rolling a one dice to see which one of the animals is going to win the race. And then this one, again, you're going to roll two dice and add them up to see who wins. So you can see how there's varying levels. So this would be good if you have multiple children, um, maybe a younger one and an older one. Here is that game board. And then some of the things that you need for the different games. So the letters, 
And these are on what is like a perforated paper. So you don't have to even cut them. You would just bend them. Actually, let me show you how easy it is. You would bend them and they would just rip right off. So you don't even, the prep is very, very minimal. This is a few things that you have to cut out. So that one and this one, I believe are the only cutting, but I think that is actually for your child to cut, not you as far as prep work. And then here's all of the guide directions. So we have the wooden chameleon, and then you can see here the little ivy tips and the junior ivy tips that they talked about. And then there are questions to scaffold learning, and there's learning goals and development skills listed as well. So it's very thought out, the materials provided, how to do it, the tips for the littles and the juniors, questions to scaffold the learning, and then the learning goals for each of them. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish. Then it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see it. means I get a mark this one. Chameleon Lunch Game. How to play. Catch as many flies as you can with the sticky chameleon tongue. Before starting the game, spread out the flies. Select a chameleon to play with. Then each player races to catch the flies with a chameleon sticky tongue. When all flies have been caught, the game ends. At the end of the game, each player count the number of the flies that he or she collected. Okay. I'm Bread. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Getting up the flies. <laughs> 